Reservations, George Borgs. Uh, sir, it says you checked in about an hour ago. Did he request a room? Yes, room 19. That's what I thought. Odd, isn't it? We are two, yet we are one. But then nothing is odd in dreams. Then all of this is a dream? It is. I'm sure my last dream. You, however, will have much to dream before you come to this night. What date is it for you? Yesterday was my 51st birthday. When in your waking state you reach this night again, yesterday will have been your 64th birthday. Today is August 25th, 2004. I knew this was going to happen to you. Years ago, in this room, we began the draft of the story of this suicide. Yes, but what led me to go through with this? You will see that your supposed career has been nothing but a series of drafts, and you will give in to the vain and superstitious temptations to write your great book. And in the end, you realize that you had failed. We realized that we failed. Did you publish it? I toyed with that conviction, with the melodramatic possibility of destroying the book, perhaps by fire, but I wound up publishing it. That book is one of the roads that led me to this night. I will not write that book. You will though. My words, which are now your present, will one day be your vaguest memory of a dream. Are you so sure that you're going to die? Yes, I feel sort of a sweetness and a relief that I've never felt before. All words require a shared experience. Why do you seem so annoyed with what I'm saying? Because we're too much alike. I loathe your face, which is a caricature of mine. I loathe your voice, which is a mockery of mine. I loathe your pathetic cynics which is my own. So do I. That's why I've decided to kill myself today. About 12 days ago, I was giving a lecture. Suddenly, I discovered what my path was to be. I made this decision, and since that moment, I have felt myself invulnerable. You shall one day meet that fate. You shall one day receive that sudden revelation. Unless... Unless... Unless what? This is your wake-up call. If I have any advice for you, well for us, it is to see the world differently than you do now. Listen to the words that I'm telling you. You have the opportunity to change your life and not fall to the path that has led to this place of no return. Take hold of your life, change it. Live your life for yourself, not for what you perceive others to want from you. Wake up from this nightmare and live.